There's one more thing about slices that's probably worth mentioning even though we won't use it in the subsequent material and that's the fact that a slice can appear on the left hand side of an assignment operation. So let's talk about the fact that slices can appear as L values and recall that an L value is anything that can appear on the left hand side of an assignment operation and when a slice appears to the left of an assignment operator the right hand side must be an iterable and somewhat surprisingly the number of elements in that iterable and the number of elements specified by the slice don't have to be the same and we'll see examples of that in a bit but let's start by defining a list let's say x list is equal to the integers 0 10 20 30 and 40 now we can specify a slice with two elements on the left hand side of the assignment operator and assign it an iterable with two elements so for example we could say x list will start with the second element and will go up to but not include the fourth element and we could assign that maybe the values 50 and 60 so there's an iterable with two elements on the right hand side of this assignment operation and a slice specifying two values from X list on the left hand side and after hitting return what do we get for X list well the second and third elements are now 50 and 60 having changed from 10 and 20 let's try that again let's say X list starting from the second element going up to but not including the fourth element you are equal to minus 100 comma minus 200 and that right hand side is a tuple of two elements recall that if we just have values separated by commas we could enclose that in parentheses to get a tuple but if the parentheses aren't there it's still a tuple and hitting return now what is X list we see that the second and third elements are now minus 100 and minus 200 and let's try another thing let's go X list we'll again start at the second element and then go up to but not include the third element so we're only specifying a single element with that slice and we'll say this is equal to the iterable that's a list with the elements 7 8 and 9 so the left hand side is specifying a single element the right hand side has three elements in it we hit return and there's no error what does X list look like now and we see that the second element of X list that was minus 100 is now replaced with 7 8 and 9 so that single element was expanded to three new elements if we don't want to remove any elements of the list but simply insert some new elements we can do that using a slice where the start and stop indices are the same and in this case the values will be inserted before the start value for instance we could have X list and we'll say a start value of the second element but a stop value also of the second element and in this case we'll insert a list with the elements how about the string hello and the string there and now what is X list well we haven't removed any elements from X list recall that before issuing this statement the second element was the integer 7 well the integer 7 is still there but now it's the fourth element and hello became the new second element and there became the new third element what about something like this let's again have X list where we have a start value of the second element and say the stop value is also the second element but now we will assign to it the string BYE but we said that the right hand side has to be an iterable but strings are actually iterables when a string is used in the context where an iterable is expected it returns its characters one at a time let's hit return now and what is X list we might think we would see the string BYE in there but we don't instead we see the individual characters B the Y and the E as the new second third and fourth elements now one more thing how about X list let's start with 
the second element and go up to, but don't include the third element. That left hand side is a slice with one element in it. And let's try assigning to it a non iterable object such as an integer. And how about we go with the lucky integer 777. And in this case, when we hit return, we actually get an error message where it says we could only assign an iterable and an integer is not an iterable. So although we specified one element seemingly on the left and a single object on the right, this assignment doesn't work. If we wanted the second element of this list to be 777, then of course what we should have written was x list, the second element is equal to 777. And that works just fine. We see that the second element is now the lucky 777. With that, we'll finally conclude our introduction to slices.